Will the real Paige Delaney please stand up? This is how my meal prep Monday is going. I don't even know if you guys can tell what's going on. That's all of my ground turkey on the floor. It's all on the floor. I could actually cry right now. <laughs> <sighs> meal prep Monday. Wonderful. recap of the first clip you guys saw in today's vlog I was trying to be responsible I did not feel like meal prepping last night I was tired but I got myself up and I said no Paige you gotta get this done you gotta stick with your routine so I got up and I was done y'all I had just turned off the um stove and I was preparing to like put my uh, ground turkey into different containers Dropped something on the floor, uh, bent down to pick it up, and somehow my elbow hit the pan and it just completely flipped over. Meat just everywhere. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> Ground turkey just everywhere. Smoke coming up off the floor from the turkey. It was just a lot. And I had plans of vlogging a little bit yesterday, but after that, I was like, no, this is the last thing I'm doing for the night. My my day is ending here because <laughs> this is too much. So I need to go to the store today and get some more turkey. Hopefully, I can get some more turkey because they rarely have the kind that I want anymore. I'm trying to do a brown lip. So, yeah, I thought I would vlog my day today it's kind of hard to do these two things at the same time talking and putting this on um so i decided to just vlog today another reason why i didn't want to vlog yesterday is because my mouth was hurting a little bit so i keep meaning to bring this up in every single vlog guys but i always forget hold on real quick because i can't multitask if you know me you know that i call myself the queen of multitasking but i'm actually not very good at it okay now we have a brown lip let's just put that there um yeah <laughs> so i just keep forgetting to bring it up y'all if you follow me on instagram then you probably do know this already but i am currently working with a company called wonder smile and they are helping your girl fix her teeth some people have messaged me and said that they could tell in my videos over the last couple of months that I sound a little bit different or my mouth looks a little bit different. Well, if you're like one of those people and you have noticed, um, no, you're not going crazy. I am just wearing aligners now. <laughs> the process has been so smooth so far. I've been wearing them 
since ooh December 14th and here we are in February so yeah a couple months now so the reason that I wanted to start this you know teeth straightening journey um, I wore braces in high school for about a year and a half um, my teeth were perfect I was so happy with them my mom spent a lot of money to make sure that I had a perfect smile and then I went away to college and I decided that I just wasn't going to wear my retainers to sleep anymore. I don't know what prompted that decision, but it was probably one of the worst mistakes <laughs> that I've ever made um, because it did not take very long at all for my teeth to start shifting. And my wisdom teeth were also starting to grow in, all four of them. So my teeth just started pushing and it resulted in me having a lot of crowding um, here in the front. It didn't bother me for a while, but um, as I started being more and more consistent on YouTube and having to edit videos of myself talking, I just started noticing it more and more and I was just like, oh no. So with the help of Wonder Smile, I'm going to be fixing that and I am so excited. I basically just had to go into one of their offices here in London, have a consultation. They scanned my teeth and they made a 3D scan. Then their orthodontist team examined it and decided what they would be able to do for me. After that, they gave me before and afters. So I got to see what my teeth look like at the beginning. If I still have the photos, I'm going to pop it up on the screen, but they showed me what my teeth look like at the beginning and how they're going to look after. And when I saw that, I was like, yes! I'm so excited. My teeth were not in terrible shape at all. I just had this problem area in the front, like I said. So I have to wear the top aligners for uh, three and a half months. So I'm gonna be coming to the end very soon of the top aligners. And then the bottom aligners, um, I was told that I have to wear them for eight and a half months. So soon I'll just be wearing the bottom ones. And by the end of the year, I will have perfect teeth again. Yay. <laughs> And of course, if anyone out there um, has also been wanting to begin the journey of achieving a better smile or straighter teeth, I have a discount code for you. If you use my discount code, you will get 80 pounds off of your treatment. I'm going to leave all the information in the description box below. I have dedicated 2021 to leveling up in many different ways. And that also includes, you know, making some slight tweaks to my appearance, you know. Nothing extreme, no like surgeries or anything like that. <laughs> I just want to use this time to become my best self from the inside out. Um, so that means fixing my teeth, being happier with my smile. And of course, as I mentioned to you guys before, I'm really, really trying to figure out this situation with my skin. I mentioned before that I'm having a really hard time with hormonal acne. I've been trying a lot of different things on my own. I bought a whole bunch of skincare products. I started taking the DIM supplement. I gave up dairy completely and nothing seems to really be working. So, <laughs> but yeah, 2021 has just started. Uh, so I have time to figure it out. It's my goal for this year to get it sorted. But basically I have been on the Nexplanon uh, birth control implant for years and years and years. Um, had no problems with it at all for the longest time. But when I turned 20, I all of a sudden started getting hormonal acne and my skin was just going nuts and the more and more research I have done lately I have realized that this implant is a really big trigger for hormonal acne so I would like to get it removed it's under my skin like I said it's an implant so I cannot remove it myself um, a doctor or a nurse has to do it but the doctor and the sexual health clinic they're not really taking any new patients right now unless it's like an emergency situation um, of course because of the pandemic so I don't know when I'll be able to get in there but ever since I read that y'all I just I want to get this thing out of my arm I want to see if it helps I want it out I want it out I want it out because all my life until my mid-20s, I didn't really have many issues with my skin. And to be going through this now at 28, I'm just like, <laughs> why couldn't I have gone through this at 16? Like, 28 at my big age, I'm having the worst acne of my life. Like, it is really, really, really just disheartening and upsetting teeth and skin i'm trying to change both of those in 2021 of course i still love myself of course i'm still confident in myself um i love myself at every stage that i go through but <laughs> i am ready for this stage to be over so yeah 
but I actually need to hop off now guys um, I will be back but today is my first ever call with my YouTube contact as you guys know I'm a part of the YouTube black voices class of 2021 and there's so many amazing benefits that comes with being chosen for that and one of them is that we get partner support they're supposed to help us with the development of our channels give us tips and advice um, so I have my little list of questions written out and I'm excited to have this call Today is really just like a YouTube dedicated day for me. I definitely want to tell you guys more about how I've been working on my time management and balancing everything that I'm trying to do. So yesterday was a Bloom Village day where I worked on nothing but my new brand Bloom Village. And then today I'm going to be doing my YouTube call, filming my Fashion Nova haul video and whatever else I can do that has to do with YouTube. So trying to go back and forth and just balance them both. Um... But yeah, I don't want to be late for my first call, so I will check in with you guys in a bit. Good morning, sunshine. Oh my God! You look so pretty. Oh, thanks, mommy. I have my call with the um, people from YouTube. Okay guys, so my YouTube call is done. Um, it was more of an introductory call than anything, but I'm really looking forward to having the support from YouTube. I still really can't believe that I was even chosen for this opportunity, but I am so grateful and I feel so blessed. But yeah, so as I said before, today is a YouTube dedicated day. So I need to film a Valentine's Day theme haul for Fashion Nova. I've been having so much fun doing these monthly try on hauls for you guys. So yeah, about to get ready to film the next one. Got a lot of stuff, but it's real cute y'all, it's real cute. And your girl might actually have a Valentine this year. <laughs> But of course, there's no restaurants or any other fun day stuff open. All you can really do is go for an outdoor walk. But yeah, after I'm done filming this, I need to go to Asda. Well, before that, I need to go for my daily walk. Um, and then I will run into Asda. And I want to head to the Valentine's Day section and see what kind of little gift bags they have. I glanced at it a few weeks ago. Yeah, I want to get a cute little bag. Um, as well as a couple groceries that I need to re-up on. So, like I said, I love doing these hauls, but it takes so much work to film them. You have to put clothes on and take them off and put clothes on and take them off. It's long. <laughs> but the finished product is always worth it. So, yeah, make sure you guys tune in to my next Fashion Nova haul. Support your girl. A lot of work goes into making these videos behind the scenes. I don't even think people realize. But it feels worth it when you guys actually watch them and comment and engage. It really means the world to myself and I'm sure all the other YouTubers out there. So on that note, I'm going to stop stalling and get to work. Talk to you guys later. Hey y'all. So I finished filming the first part of the Fashion Nova video. Um, I was about to do the part where I actually tried the clothes on and then my camera started to die. So I've just been charging it up a little bit. But I looked at the time and decided that I wanna just go ahead and get my daily walk done now. Um, go to the store, like I said. Um, and then I'll just come back and film the last part. And after that, I will just be editing for the rest of the night until it's time to go to sleep. So. Yeah, the life of a YouTuber. <laughs> but I really, really want to remember when I get back to tell y'all about how my identity got stolen last week. And I wish I was joking, but I'm not at all. But yeah, I'm gonna need to properly sit down and tell y'all about that one. So for now, we're just gonna go on this walk. So, um, update guys. <laughs> it has been snowing in London for the past few days, nonstop. I mean, obviously it's nothing compared to what I'm used to back home in Chicago, but this is a lot of snow for London. Well, at least since I moved here two years ago. I think I've mentioned before that people have told me that there have been like snowstorms here in previous years, but not since I moved to London. So 
I don't know, but I'm tired of it. <laughs> So I usually have no problem continuing my walks throughout the winter, but in the last few days, the temperature has dropped at least 15 to 20 degrees. I had to double up my gloves. My fingers yesterday felt like ice blocks. Oh my gosh. So I am just gonna try to walk really, really fast because I still wanna get this done, but it is cold. One good thing, however, is that the sun is starting to... Okay, these birds. <laughs> trying to be all in my vlog. It's going on 5 p.m. right now and it's not even dark yet, which is wonderful because at the beginning of the winter, it was getting dark at like 3.45. So normally during these walks, I FaceTime my mom and talk to her. So I'm gonna call my mom back now. We talked a few minutes earlier so that I could tell her about my YouTube call, but I'm gonna call her back and have a, and have a proper conversation now. So talk to you guys when I get to the store, I guess. It's so cold. actually stopped in Sainsbury's before going to Asda so I want to get something from here but they have the cutest little Valentine's Day section look at this saving to see the world together how adorable and then adventures together like that is so cute that's right up my alley trying to warm my hands up a little bit. Whew. Okay, so <laughs> before I left, I promised that I would tell you guys what happened with this whole identity theft situation. And of course, I am not here to disappoint, so we're back. All right, let's see if I can make this a long story short. So <laughs> basically, one day my mom texts me and she's like, Paige, someone stole your identity. Um, and she said, <laughs> she really texted like that calmly. She's like, Paige, someone stole your identity and um, they filed for unemployment checks um, basically in your name. And I'm like, how do you know this? <laughs> basically the government or whoever sent a letter to my house confirming that someone, cause it wasn't me, claimed over $14,000 in pandemic relief assistance um, under my name. They filed back in January and they have already received all the money. I don't know how this was possible, <laughs> how they were able to do this under my name. I still have so many questions like, how are they able to do this? What information of mine do they have that they were able to get over $14,000 in my name. I have just always despised scammers so much. Like, sorry, not sorry. Like you are literally stealing from other hardworking people. And of course, in this case, they didn't steal money right out of my bank account, thank God. Um, but this could have caused me problems. Like if I was trying to file for unemployment, they would say, 
no, somebody else already got unemployment in your name. So that would have been a whole mess and having to prove that it wasn't me who had already filed for it. And apparently that has happened to some people because on the paper that they sent to my house, it actually said like, if this wasn't you, you know, you need to let us know because this is something that is happening throughout the country. You know, people are filing fraudulent claims and just all this mess. I ended up like searching it on Twitter. I started doing that recently, like using Twitter as kind of like a Google search, but seeing what other people are saying. So I typed in something like fraudulent, unemployment, benefits, whatever. And so many people have been tweeting that the same exact thing happened to them. I saw people saying that they found out because they were trying to file for unemployment for themselves and were denied because it says somebody else already filed for them. It's really just a mess. Like I understand that, of course I understand that people are having a very hard time right now, but that's just not right. That's not right to do that in somebody else's name. It's stealing, it's not cool. You could be messing things up for people because basically that was gonna show up on my taxes. We've been having to work that whole situation out so that I am not penalized um, for this claim, this fraudulent claim that had nothing to do with me. I'm just over here in London minding my business and the fake Paige Delaney is somewhere getting $14,000. <laughs> Let me know in the comments guys if you have heard about this happening, um, if it happened to you, it's really messed up. It's straight up identity theft. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Will the real Paige Delaney please stand up? That's pretty much what happened. That's how I got my identity stolen. But yeah guys, I think I'm gonna wrap today's vlog up here. Like I said, I still need to film the second part of my Fashion Nova haul. So you guys can expect to see that on Sunday. Please tune in. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I guess it was like a mini day in my life. I tried to show as much as I could. Vlog style videos are kind of difficult for me to do right now because I'm not really doing anything besides working and I don't really know how interesting, you know, that would be because I'm just literally sitting in front of my laptop until my eyes hurt for hours and hours and hours on end. But yeah, that's it. <laughs> as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.